Hello and welcome to Tuts Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with spot colors in Photoshop. Spot colors can be used in documents intended for print to add additional colors or create color varnishes. So spot color channels are designed to provide a channel for additional inks to be used in uh, commercial printing. And the location in the image where the ink should be applied is stored in a spot channel. So this is what I'm going to show you now. We have the channels panel and of course we have our layers. In this case I have uh, the logo itself and the background layer and currently I'm in CMYK color mode. So if I go to the channels menu or pa panel we can see here I have the four plates cyan, magenta, yellow and black and also the composite one on the top. So at the moment it's going to be printed with CMYK, uh, the, the four inks together. But what if I want to use a special color? Maybe I want to print this logo in gold. So for that I would like to use a special metallic paint or varnish, uh, which can be set up as a spot channel. So let's just go to layers first of all. And I want to make a selection of the whole logo. Because we have transparency, I can actually command or control click on the thumbnail of the logo, which will make a quick selection around it. Then I can go to the channels panel and from the panel menu, I can choose new spot channel. So once I click on that, that will actually save our selection and already pick a color for this which I can specify from here. So as you can see, there's a couple of color libraries here, like the Pantone ones are the most commonly used one. And um, I can choose metallic coated, and then I can select a color from this list. In case you know the number of your color that you want to work with, you can just type it in. So let's say it's 875, that's the number of the color. You just type that in and it jumps immediately to that color. Now. I'm going to go back to the color which I had selected and I'm going to click on OK. So now this is assigned to that spot channel and solidity is mainly just showing uh, the preview so it's not really affecting the final print it just gives you a preview over the image if that's set to 100% it will completely overlap the image itself so in this case I have it set up and I can also see it in full color in that preview color that I have here. Once I click on OK, now you can see we actually have five channels in our document. So we still have our four basic colors, cyan, magenta, yellow and black. And on top of that, now we have a spot channel as well. And in that spot channel, the way it decides uh, where it's going to be used is by uh, just saving it as a mask. So whenever this little channel thumbnail is black, that means there the spot channel is going to be used. You can even have this channel selected and use your brush and draw over details. So for example, if I just draw over it like this, then I will have uh, the spot channel or the spot color used only on the areas where I can still see it. So you can see on the actual channel, also note now those parts are blank, they are white. So in that, that case, no spot color will be used there. But if I switch to black, then I can add the spot color wherever I want to use it. And it works with grayscale color. So if I switch to 50% uh, gray, then it will be 50% strength uh, used from the spot color. I'm going to go back a couple of steps before I made these changes and I would like to point out also a very important thing. Whenever you add spot colors to your print, it always makes it a bit more expensive. There's only one exception, in case you can reduce the amount of uh, basic colors used in your print. So if you use it on top of CMYK, then it will be an additional fifth ink which will make it more expensive. But in case that's the only ink you need, like in my case, that's the only ink I have in this logo, then I can just simply select all the four colors, I mean the, all the four channels, and I can just delete them. So if I delete these selected channels, I will have only one channel. So in this case, we have the uh, channel here, 
and you can see that the main difference in these cases is that if you ha that's the only channel you have it's not a CMYK color mode anymore but you can check it here under the image mode option it's a multi-channel color mode a multi-channel image can have also more channels so in case you want to use a different color for example for the text you can do that as well I'm just going to use the uh, magic wand and use non-contiguous option for it and then I'm just going to click on the L here then I use the rectangular marquee tool hold down alt and shift make a quick selection here at the bottom and that will create like an intersection of the previous selection and this new selection so now I have selected the text and for that I can create another new spot channel so if I click on that again I can pick a different color and for this one maybe I would like to use a little bit something more uh, metallic so I'm going to use this color I'm going to click on OK click on OK again and now you can see that we have the uh, gold varnish on the uh, like the icon or the head of the lion and uh, the emblem itself and then we have a different more silver paint on the actual text so once you have more channels you can see we're still in multi-channel mode and in case you want to see exactly what you have on each channel you can click on the panel menu choose panel options and then here you can increase the thumbnail size of the uh, channels so now I can see an issue that my um, text is actually used on both of these Pantone colors so there's an unnecessary part which is overlapping the two paints so I can just select the one with the uh, golden colors and I'm going to make a selection there and just simply fill that in with white so I go to edit fill and choose white so now that's removed so in this case the uh, gold spot color is only used for the emblem and then the uh, text or the silver color is only used for the text and once you have everything set up like this you can save your file and it's good to know that in which file formats you can save spot channels into as you can see Photoshop document can save spot channels but you can also save it into the DCS 2.0 file format so whichever you prefer can use these two also you can use large document format and you can even use Photoshop RAW but I would recommend to use either Photoshop or DCS 2.0 in case you have uh, your original CMYK channels you can also save into TIFF uh, file format and that's all I wanted to show you in this tutorial just a quick introduction to working with spot color channels in Photoshop I hope you found this useful and if you want to learn more about Photoshop make sure you join me next time as well here on Touch Plus. Thanks a lot for your attention.